It's a beautiful Saturday morning here on September 4th and we're in Sausalito at the Sausalito Art Festival. Well, this is the entrance to the Sausalito Fair and it's a typical California gathering. Here's the bus waiting to turn the corner and as it turns we'll see the front entrance to the Sausalito Art Festival, one of a kind in the United States. Now look at this. This is a car, believe it or not, at the Sausalito Art Festival. You ever seen anything like this? Look at all these figurines and Smurfs. This is a silent auction where uh, people can write down a silent auction bid for these pieces of art. Piece of glass and metal by David Falossi. How do you like uh, Sausalito and the art festival so far? I think it's absolutely beautiful. I don't think you can beat the weather. It's cool with a little breeze and boy, everybody is turning out. These are these woven wire sculptors. Yeah. How long have you been doing this type of art? Um, about 10 years. 10 years, yeah. And I detect a little accent. I am originally from London. Okay. And uh, you operate in San Francisco? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And uh, what gave you the inspiration to do this type of art? It's unique. I've not seen it anywhere. I was really just uh, fooling around with wire uh -huh. 20 years ago and uh -huh. uh, made a ball and then made a box and uh -huh. built it over the years into this uh, mobile figurative world. Uh-huh. Well, they're very attractive outside. and. Uh, the wire, is it uh, pretty much galvanized? I mean, can it hang outside? It can hang outside. I restring them on a steel line, but the wire is um, it's either silver-plated copper, gold-plated copper, aluminum, okay. or um, polyurethane coated copper. Uh-huh. So it'll stand up to wind and sun and it will. things like that. In theory. Chris, these are striking black and white photographs. And uh, how did you tear yourself away from color? To black and white. <laughs> uh, I just joke that I'm colorblind. Makes no. it a lot easier. No, I've never done color. Never. Uh -huh. I've always done black and white. Uh -huh. I'm interested in the reality, sort of behind the reality. Okay. And so I hope my work uh, conveys that. Uh huh. Uh huh. And by going to black and white, you're picking out lines, at least in my interpretation, that point to something behind what I'm actually looking at. Is exactly. that correct? Yeah, I, I like the essence of things more than the thing itself. Uh -huh. Kind of like you have a feeling when you go to a grove of trees or, you know, that's what I'm looking for. Sure, sure. That's well, I think... In a nutshell. Now, you said you're going to do a project in the L.A. area. Yeah. What's it kind of like? Well, I'm... You know, it's a gas station. I'm working for United Oil. Uh-huh. They, um... They've got... They've got an interest in doing very elaborate unusual gas stations and they're not doing it on all of them but every right. now and then we've got something I've been been working with Jeff uh, Appel for a couple of years now uh -huh. on developing this and I'm gonna do the ceiling for a gas station It'll be 32 feet wide at the opening at the yeah. door go 16 feet into the end of oh. the station oh. and then there'll be some additional parts that go up above the uh, sure the, 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 the station itself up on the outside so uh -huh. it'd be a big you know be thematically it'd be planets in space if you look at my website redwolfineart.com okay. okay you see I've done a lot of that in, in uh, back in 2000 for the uh, uh, hotel in Nagoya Japan uh -huh. I did a uh, the sky lounge which was a 27 or 20 feet by 47 foot uh -huh. depiction of the earth in space and and so we're kind of working off of some of those ideas with what we'll do sure here in, in, in Los Angeles and then some of the some of this kind of metal work where all of this is going to be done on these honeycomb sandwich aluminum panels uh-huh so they're they're very lightweight but very rigid and uh -huh. so part of what we're going to do is reveal around the edges right places where the aluminum almost peels it looks like it's rolled back and really? peeled open to reveal this uh, uh -huh. scene of the of the, the universe sure. i think i'm going to work on a half inch but the thing about this is this is what you build um, satellites uh, uh, sure you know all kinds you know all, airplanes are all built out of the sure thing. sure it's, it's very very lightweight but it's uh -huh. also 
incredibly strong. You uh -huh. just can't, you, you can walk on this. It's uh -huh. 300 pounds per square inch. As a substrate for artwork, Sure. I, I've kind of moved to this because I, I was looking for something that was going to stay rigid. I was working with uh, stretching canvas over board and at some right. point, uh, you know, was working with MDF thinking that that would be, uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, a substitute for the board, you know, kind of like a masonite. Sure. But they, they all tend to, to have some warpage over time. You do something here and you ship it off to Miami, Florida, 99% humidity and you know 90 90 degrees. It's sure. Going to, the, the, it's going to change and affect the artwork. Right. This is very very stable. This is not going anywhere. This is is going to be what it is for the next forever years. Yeah. You said you've been here eight times to Sausalito. Uh, I think pretty much. I've kind of lost track, but uh, on and off for the last ten years. Uh huh. So, yeah. And you like coming out here from Texas to to be in this show. Uh, especially this time of year, it's great to come from Texas where it's a hundred. <laughs> And real human. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. But aside from that, no, the show's great and uh, the people are fabulous. It's just a lot of fun. Uh huh. Do you guys make these yourself? Yeah, that's what we do. Carol uh -huh. and I have been uh, doing this for, uh, I've been doing it 32 years. Ah, I see. She not quite that well. Uh huh. For most of those years. Yeah. Uh huh. And the price range, I heard you telling people from. We make them, uh, they start at 195 for. Uh, a handheld, uh -huh. basic style, up to a couple thousand for our our large versions. Sure, which are here, which are here. Okay, so you call this a a uh, sculpture? Yes. Kaleidoscope. Sure. I think they look pretty nice, even if they didn't do anything. Do you use anything special? To make these colors so vibrant, is that glass in there? Or yeah, we make plastic. Our, we do our own flame work uh, glass. Uh huh. Uh, and then we uh, we're always on the lookout for interesting uh, objects to put in there. You know, we'll try anything. Sure, sure. Oh my Some gosh, seashells that's in there. The <laughs> stones and feathers. James, oh. this uh, sculptor here, Compassion. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about this? It's a beautiful piece. Well, as you can see, it's moving. So yeah, it's a kinetic piece. Uh huh. It's just balanced on a sharp little carbide point up there. Uh huh. And uh, you know, really, it's just giving it a push, and the momentum keeps it going five to ten minutes. Is that? And yeah. As far as the title of the piece, um, it's titled "Compassion," just kind of a sphere representing. Uh huh. Kind of the earth or whatever, and kind of a presence beyond us, you know. Uh huh. Looking over us, so. Sure. Spiral kind of representing that energy, and there's kind of a feather here sitting on the globe, and so. Uh huh. Kind of some of the symbolism behind it. Yeah. Great. Great. And uh, you say you've come to Sausalito before? Uh, yep, I've probably done this show maybe eight to ten years, something uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's always a great show. Uh -huh. you know, great work and great crowds and just uh -huh. a fun time. Yeah. Great weather from. Great weather <laughs> compared yeah. to Denver or sometimes. Yeah, it's pretty hot in Denver today. I think it's in the 90s, so uh -huh. it's a little more mild. Uh -huh. Well, Ben, the first time in the Sausalito Art Show, and uh, what are your first impressions? It's great. You know, there's a, there's a lot of great people out. The weather is beautiful. Uh, you know, it's just a nice new market to to get into. Uh huh. Well, it's quite an honor, isn't it, uh, to be invited to this thing? I guess thousands of people apply. That's what I hear. You know, and just looking around at the other artwork, you know, there's you know top of the line artists out there. So. Uh -huh. It is. It's a great honor to be here, and uh -huh. hopefully we'll continue to have a great, great festival. Well, this is uh, abstract topophilia. Now, to the layman, what does that really mean? You know, broken down topophilia is love of place, and so uh, like this piece is San Francisco, and from bird's eye vantage point, you know, you can really. Through paint and different materials, you can really get a sense of the movement and constant flow of the city and kind of that city vibe uh, with, you know, the place of rest in the park. But it's, it's really to emphasize, you know, a new perspective of landscapes that somebody can travel through depending, you know, based on their uh, experiences and connections to the area. Yes. Yeah,